Peace and love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever. <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic space gods. Space gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are super cool. <gasps> so she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Not in the mood, sign. Are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's. I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on with this thing. It's just. Dylan, closing. please. Close. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. Skill. <sighs> Ugh, horror. I hate horror. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you gonna help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. 
Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. This needs a serious overhaul. Oh! Jesus. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my God, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Oh, okay, so now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just gotta take, Jake. Oh, sorry, I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were... Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? <laughs> Knew it. <laughs> Who said I was hiding that? I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I feel like if you really did like the guy, you would have made a move by now. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't... Okay. Her whole thing is like, how are we going to make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. 
Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the um the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're a real charmer, you know that? Look, I'm just saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <sighs> well, can't seize the moment that never happened. Yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You gotta make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. Okay. Not gonna miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey! What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. You're right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D don't, Go don't. Long. Oh, Nick! <laughs> Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man. Good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh. Freaks. I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. 
than by shape our destiny. I mean, shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Okay, let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Aw, this was little Izzy's. Probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. Why would this place be in the news? Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. I don't think anyone knocked Caitlin out of first place all summer. Ready to roll? Let's do it. Finally. Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic. Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself. 
but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Sure, what's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. You know what? I actually believe you. Abby, was that a compliment? Your charm is infectious, what can I say? <laughs> I'd subscribe. You better. As soon as you get home, sub, share, smash that like button. The holy trinity. Okay, well now I'm really regretting it. Oh no, you love me. <laughs> My favorite spot? The fire pit? The island. Mad secluded, right? Is, is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should we should probably, you know, get back. Oh yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick. Waiting for you. All everyone. Same. Don't worry, Jacob, I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay, I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag, thank you. What? Are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you.
Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? You think I was listening to a podcast about you? Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. This episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know, it's never really been clear. Anyways. Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Uh, yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. Hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Sorry, Mr. H. Yeah, had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies with all his ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Well, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Sorry about that, bud. Sorry about that, bud. Didn't mean to push you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand? 
looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents, since I'd have to live on campus, you know. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to Kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do Kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Totally, yeah. Best to get you all out of harm's way. Woods are chock full of live game and local hunters hop to it the second camp's over. It's not safe. Hmm. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure did turn it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. What's the problem? Ugh, oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come all on, right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, let's go. dude. I'm 
Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian, come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning, and we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. What are you talking about? No Mr. Hackett, no screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh, hell yeah! P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <laughs> I'm sure he's just looking out for us. No big deal. All right, yeah. No, Artie. I, I, I didn't mean. High five. Touch my hand, Ryan. Fine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say that this is a bad oh idea. God, dude. Ugh. Ugh. It's going to be fine, man. Trust me. It's going to be chill. All right. All right. All right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby. You go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this.
I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you've found. Temperance. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes, with temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. <laughs> 